So here we are in their house. Now, in case you all forgot what the outside of this house looks like, this is it. Um, it was inspired by shipping container homes, which obviously we got access to with this pack. And then when we started doing some modern developments and everything, I added some wood textures just to liven it up. But as you can tell, I did not do an intro for this video. I'm because I want this build is going to be a little big, so I wanted to make sure I had enough time for it. Um, I'm thinking something a little different, maybe a little controversial. Um, just because we're totally, I, I kind of want to totally abandon what we have here. Because they have all these plants and everything that they want to grow so that they can make their juices and have a nice little garden. And so I'm def I want to turn all of this into a nice garden for them. And then I want, you'll see what I'm thinking, but it's, it's going to be different and I hope you all don't mind. So let's get into this. So first thing we need to do is kind of take everything and place it into their inventory. Oh, so I did, before I do this, while we have the inventory open, I did do one day of gameplay off camera and I kind of cheated their needs a little bit so that way they could just spend the whole day fabricating. And we did finish the current milestone of Maria's aspiration we were on because she found five dyes in the dumpster after i figured out what you had to hit to get dyes and she also reached level five of the fabrication skill so they fabricated some furniture items um they found some uh what are the they found some tvs so we're going to be able to give them quite a cute little space I think now that we have all of these items so I know that the last time I gave them this cute little patio area and I'm not changing it okay they will still have a patio area I'm just changing where that patio area is going to be shoot okay hang on i can do this i can build i swear okay so you i probably should okay, i should probably do this one first Lied, we might extend this out by even one more piece we're gonna see what happens okay now next thing we need to do is get rid of this fencing and move these planters back here out of the way the planters the bugs the bees everything back ah! undo here because that's where the new garden is going to be and then we're going to do this Gosh darn it, stop deleting that wall. Is that better? Okay, yeah. Okay, so first order of business, really, is making this green. Because we're going into the green initiatives. 
which means we can definitely make their lot green if I can find none of these really look green I don't understand did I use like I might have actually used a yeah I might have done something like this okay so blue that's a lot of money though to cover their hole we're just gonna we're gonna undo that because that was a lot of money and then is this okay so that was a separate room now i just have to find a grass that i like i don't know why none of these are really looking green maybe it's the lighting that i'm on i mean it was kind of rainy today i'm gonna go with this one and I'm just going to assume that it's going to be okay. Oh, and if you see these gnomes uh, in the front yard, it is Harvest Fest today. So that's why the gnomes popped up. I'm also going to delete this dumpster because I did find another dumpster in this world. Um, it's somewhere over in that corner. It's like hidden behind a wall, which is why I had never noticed it before. Okay, so now we have this. And controversial number one. Yes, I did that. Um... Please don't hate me. And then what we're going to do is give them a real roof. So we're going to give them one of these guys. very talkative I'm probably going to be doing this very quickly um, when I do this like it'll probably be partially like a speed buildy type thing just so I can um, get this done although then again maybe not maybe I'll just leave it okay and then this obviously this is the Sims so this isn't gonna line up as perfectly as it would in real life if I was trying to do something like this, but this way they can have a solar panel roof. And I'm going to use some of the new green items because another thing that we did miss, which is very unfortunate, um, is that they actually just um, made it to a green neighborhood. Now, I was really hoping that that wasn't going to happen off camera um, because I didn't actually, like, I didn't do anything. I, I was just leaving it to itself, like, letting what be happen. But it did 
happened, so I'm sorry that you guys missed that. I'm just gonna change this. I know that I did this differently earlier, but I think I like how that looks. It kind of frames the house a little bit. Now, we all know that we have, sh like, kitchen shelves here above this counter, but I'm going to place that window, and then when we go back inside, I will delete the objects. So, yeah, very oddly shaped in house, but I kind of like it. I don't know. I, I'm enjoying it. And then we're also going to take these columns... We're going to go ahead and place them around here. And this is going to be their new outside entertaining area. So this is where they're going to have all their friends. And they can, like, interact and have some fun. Yeah, I think that's really cute. This looks kind of like the picture that I was going for on a... I found... I was looking up eco homes on Pinterest. And it looks very similar to the one that I was looking at. So I'm very happy. Do these have a different... They do, haha. -ha. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed at that, but it's okay. I think we're not... Since this is gameplay, we're not really going to see that all that much. lifestyle outdoor activities we're gonna give them this guy which is the nicest water collector and hopefully that'll help them with their water and then we're gonna go downstairs in here and we're going to delete 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 can move this up here and then we have a couple of dining chairs. They are not the same color. So it's a little mix match, but I think that that's okay. It really matches the style of this pack and the style of their house. And then we have this to go here. And then I also fabricated them a little rug for this area. Not that I don't like those. I just think maybe we could do a little better. Maybe one of the other ones. We've had those for a while. Maybe. that's kind of nice and Maria is a painter so we can pretend that she like put some of her artwork in here and then while we're in here and then as you saw I also fabricated them a dining table so we're going to put that guy here, and they only have two chairs, but I think that's okay because it's only the two of them. Um, yeah, and they should still be able to reach the ladder. I'm pretty sure that you reach the ladder from the side. 
but here I'll move these over just in case and then we have a couple of these I'm, I don't actually remember where those came from so we're just gonna do that and then I'm thinking we're gonna place one of these here yeah that's kind of nice and then I, I want to change the wallpaper I know we changed the walls the last time we were in here but and as you saw they did get some TVs now they don't watch a lot of TV just because they're really hardworking gals so I might put the TV out here in their entertaining area and leave this room as it is just so that way there's no um, issues or confusions or them trying to sit and watch TV instead of doing what I need them to do which happens in all of my games so yes that is partially the reason that I have chose to left it leave it out of the area and then this I just added this over here because she was starting to have an issue where she couldn't reach or she couldn't get around the bed um, to get to her fabricator so I just decided I was going to move that like that so that way there was no issues with that anymore and then yeah I think that that's pretty much it for the downstairs like I said we're not doing a lot I just wanted to change out that furniture and then Alicia's room is good because we just um, needed to do some updates or we just needed to move it um, the bathroom should be okay because we just updated all of those items I'm gonna move this over a little bit just so it's not in the way and then the hallway should be okay as well so really we just need to get working on this area so we have a lot of equipment that needs to go in here we have her fizzing station which can go here we have her candle making which I believe can go there I don't think that they're going to affect each other and then the recycler can go in this corner and I can just move this and I think that's all of her equipment yeah look at that okay so she now has her little space inside so she can do all of her work and then I'm gonna sell these solar panels and then also I'm going to sell nope these guys because I'm gonna get the ones to go on the roof so they have I mean they have the solar panel Um, roofing so I don't think I need to add any more of like actual solar panels so I think I'm just gonna do these wind turbines on the roof yeah give them four wind turbines and then they have their new water thing so that should help them collect more water and then I could, I mean, I could give them two. They have plenty of money. Let's give them two. And then I need to put their trash can back. So let's just give them their trash can. And then let's do a nice little patty or front walk area now we are we did make this area or this town more modern so i'm thinking okay, put this here and let's add a couple of plants because i've never really had like any type of like un tended plants like they've always had to take care of them so giving them a couple of nice little shrubs and stuff around the house might be good
Um, all the plants are going to look weird when I pull them out now because it is fall. So they aren't going to look like that for forever. And then this will lead into their garden. Now, I I think I do want to close this off here um, just to keep people from wandering into their garden. Now, obviously, if they're hanging out with their friends in their little outdoor area that I'm building for them, then that's one thing. Their friends are welcome into their garden. But strangers, I'd really rather not just have Waltz in. Now, the one downside to giving them this gorgeous garden area we're about to do is that none of these plants are going to be covered anymore. So we are going to have to pay attention to seasonality. But I think that that'll be okay. Um, it'll be a little annoying getting used to them not being in season but I think, I think it'll work. Okay, and I did go ahead and give them another set of bees just so they can, um, you know, get more beeswax, get some more things. Now, these are not the furniture that I'm going to use for their seating area for their friends. I'm just dragging this out here so that they can um, sit if like they ever want to do something while they're tending to their plants. And then I'm also going to grab out some of the old traditional planters. Now when they can fabricate the hydroponics ones, hi wow, hydroponic ones, I will in fact go ahead and give them those. But for right now they're gonna have these. Now, I said in the last episode I was considering giving them a pool, but I didn't know if I'd have enough space. But I think that I do. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just plop one in. And then... Ooh, maybe we can pretend it's like a natural pool. So... Like they made one that was like, it, like they made like an eco-friendly pool. So what we'll do is decorate all of these things, give them a floaty. But what we'll do is we will give them some more natural, like rocky items, maybe. And the Sims should be able to swim through this. I don't think that they'll have an issue. But yeah. So this way it's kind of like, maybe we can pretend that they dug into the ground and they found this like natural well. Let's just give them a couple more plants. I mean, these girls have worked hard for their money and they don't, like, one of them's gonna get really grumpy with me because I'm spending their money, but look, they, I mean, like I said, they worked really hard, they saved up, they have all this money now, and they can start to live their best life. And their world is now green, as I said, we did reach that milestone, and we're gonna go through the green initiatives pretty soon. So, and I'm putting, all of this is green, um, work, like it's all green, yeah, like, it's all green materials, it's all green everything. They're still going to be crafting their own stuff. Um, I'm going to have them craft their own lawn chairs to go here. But yeah, and I think that this is a nice little garden area for them. It definitely extended it a little bit. Um, they can plant all of those plants that Maria has been holding on to. Um, yeah, and then this, last but not least, we just have to do where they're going to have their little friendship barbecue area so 
We have a picnic table for them to use. We also have one fabricated outdoor chair. When they get more, um, when they have more time and they get more skill, I'm going to have them fabricate some more. They have their little, their little barbecue. She has her table. I might just put that over there by the gardening area. Um, the dog needs her toys. Oh, they do have another dining chair. Oh, I think that was from the table I gave them earlier that I had to delete. Okay, and then like I said, I'm going to give them this, um, this. So, that table actually doesn't like to sit on anything. Um, so I'm going to pull out this, because I know it sits on this. Um, and we're just going to do this, and then put the TV on here. We can sell this other one. And yeah, and then they can just sit and watch the TV here. When we get some more fabricated tables, I will go ahead and put them over here as well. I'm thinking maybe I should switch how I built this. So maybe this should go over here. And then this should go here. Yeah, I'm thinking that might work better. And then this can be right by where they go to garden. And we don't need this anymore. And this is in, so this is one of those things that I was talking about where we have it, but it said it was in questionable condition, although it doesn't really look like it's in questionable condition. So I'm just gonna place that over there. They found that in the dumpster. So yeah. So now they have that, they have this, they got all of their new items outside. They have their new gardening area. Now, I know these bugs are a lot of work and I complain about them all the time, but it is a part of Alicia's next, um, not Alicia's, Maria's next milestone in her thing to collect more bugs. So I am going to place those there. And besides that, that is it for the remodels. So thank you all for playing with me today. Um, I'm really happy with how the house turned out. When I first started doing it and I did that whole wall on the side thing, I was like, oh, maybe this isn't gonna work how I wanted it to. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I hope you all like it, like the new shape. I know it was a really big change after I promised just adding a garden, but I think that the house looks really good. And I think that these girls are gonna have a lot more fun in this house. I, I still think that we're on a really good track and I'll see you all next time. Bye.